Hello, welcome back to the shop. Um, out here on a Saturday working on the Samurai. Um, since the last video, I've gotten a chance to drive it around a little bit and found that uh, my front brakes were hanging up quite a bit. They weren't uh, seized, I could move it around, but they were hanging up quite a bit. And uh, I think I'm hoping what's making it lead to driving a lot like a tractor. I, I'm assuming it's never, it's not going to drive like it did with uh, 1.3 with a cam and header on it, but uh, I should get a little more zip out of this engine, and I think a lot of it was uh, because my brakes were hanging out. Um, since my last video, I've gotten the uh, exhaust complete. Uh, I've done some work on the intake manifold, and... Uh, did some cutting on the hood. Uh, my hood wasn't closing great. Uh, does call for on this lift if you use the turbo or on this uh, engine swap if you use the, the turbo engine like I am you might have to do a, a one inch body lift. I've got an exterior roll cage so I, I can't do that one inch body lift so I did a little clearancing on my hood. Um, so I'll show you what I got going on here. Like I said, today I was working on the brakes, so uh, they are moving good now, and they they were they would move good. I compressed the pistons down before it's been sitting a long time, um, put it all back together, hit the brakes, they would just seize right back up again. Uh, so I did go ahead and do the upgraded FJ60 uh, rotors and the... Four, 1990 Forerunner V6 calipers, so it's a little bit of a brake upgrade. Um, I'm running a sc older Skies Off-Road wide axle kit. I'm also running a Skies Off-Road rear offset axle in the back, so it's offset for Samurai transfer case, and that makes it a little bit wider. This axle in the rear uses a T100 axle shaft on the long side and a shortened Toyota axle on the short side to make it a passenger side drop for the Samurai transfer case. But all of that leads it to being a little bit wider in the back. So then you run the wide axle kit. So rather than a spacer, it's got this, uh, the, it's got an internal spacer on it rather than a, a spacer out there. So. It's a little bit safer uh, setup than just a, a wheel spacer on the exterior. Uh, it works great. And like I said, then I run the, the bigger brake kit there. So that's what I did today. I did some brake work, uh, but I wanted to show um, <clears throat> my... I did get some silicone boots and some aluminum tubing to work out a better setup for mating up my factory air box to the turbo. So that cleaned up, sealed up really nice compared to the cobble that I had before. And then uh, give a shout out to Jerry's Exhaust on Evergreen Way here in Everett, Washington. He did a fantastic job on my exhaust system for a reasonable price. As you can see, rather than tying in to the factory exhaust and going over the top of the trans, because I was doing a whole brand new all the way back two inch exhaust, uh, I opted to drop it down on the passenger side and it clears better and, and it's not so close to my oil filter on the other side. So I'm much happier with this setup. Uh, I recommend Jerry's anytime. Um, underneath, he did because it's got passenger drop, front diff and rear diff. It does cross over. It crosses over now underneath the transmission there. You put a flex pipe in. Uh, I didn't want it to be too loud and to have some exhaust. So we'll put a Flowmaster in there. And it goes up over the axle nicely there. And around back. 
he did a nice little drop out for me. Uh, it sounds fantastic. Um, I'm really excited to see how it goes now that my brakes aren't hanging up anymore. So that's what's going on here. Um, stay tuned. Hope to have a video uh, up soon with more progress. Thanks for watching.